which at one point it was all about whaling and things have changed for quite a few years. And then at one point it was all about fishing and it still is. Uh, but because of restrictions and regulations, things have become rather complicated out here. Uh, I find myself um, at a scalloper. And you can see they just got back or they're getting ready to go back out. So they're fixing the rakes. That's what the rake looks like. So every every journey is uh, is a different beast where they uh, come back and instead of using rope to fix their nets, they use metal, steel, and clamps and welding torches. So let's go take a closer look. Like anything else, when you're photographing with guys working, you gotta be real careful. Um, photojournalist doesn't interact. I don't talk to anybody. But you have to create a comfortable distance, but yet somehow you need to be in their comfort zone, be in their realm, in, in their space, which is what makes interesting, captivating images. So the only way to do that is basically to have their respect, but also respect them as well, of course. the links. The links have to be perfect or else it just won't work. That, that big chain that they're counting right now is what actually keeps the whole thing from breaking apart. Now it's spark time. streaks. No streaks, they just look like little bulbs of light. The problem is, guess what happens when you got molten metal flying at you? Right, you better have some protection on the tip of your camera lens. Now it's time to get a little bit busy. different 
part two when you come back. So when you get back from a voyage, um, fixing this is huge. Yeah, a lot. We don't do it every one day. It could have to be at like 7 in the morning or 7 at night. So we'll come like two or three days. And uh, we, we do the thing. You know, sometimes we do it all new. Then it's all new pieces and it takes one day. So one morning and we we'll do all of them. And you, uh, how much is like the investment that you're having to put in every single time you're redoing all this? I would say somewhere around five grand. No kidding. But the good, the, 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 the good brands, yes. Yeah. So does the guys that I see working here, are they all part of your crew or do you have to bring in extra guys? No, no, they're all crew. And there's some guys that come and help just for, you have friends and they help their friends on the crew. No, but we are seven guys. And how long do you stay out at sea? Oh boy, the new regulations, now we don't have many days. This year was 31 days, up in bottom, and uh, two reps of uh, 12,000 close area. So. so that's it? That's it. So all year, 365 days, you can go off to 31? 31, that's it. Uh, and uh, two close area reps, that takes us uh, two weeks for those. Wow. So actually, we have more than one boat. We work in more than one boat, and, uh, it's, you know, help to make it work, yeah. What else? Uh, and what's the name of this ship? This is the Zeus. Okay, the Zeus. Yep. The other one with fish is a gypsy gold. So one goes out, one stays in. Yeah. Yeah, you can try to finish one at a time, you know, we do one boat and then we go to the other. Sometimes we do two three traps and then we go to the other boat, but uh, we try to do one at a time. So every single day that you go out, you need to make it count. When you have that, that much restriction, Every single day has to count. Yeah, not play out there. You gotta make it work, uh, work, make it the trip work, you know, because you don't have many days. 31 days and you have to work and every hour, you can lose an hour, you can lose a minute anyway. You gotta take every, every time you can. my hometown in Portugal. So this community is really nightly, uh, tightly knit. And we have a son, Brandon. Now, Helder, how long have you been a fisherman? Over 20 years. Over 20 years, he's been uh, going back and forth with the Georgia's Bank pretty much most of, the, most of your time in the U.S., right? Right. Now, this is your son, Brandon. What's up, man? How are you doing? Good, I'm here. Good, good. Hey, uh, Helder, wh what do you think about him? Becoming a fisherman too. Uh, maybe. Maybe. So he has. You haven't gone out yet, right? How old are you? Nineteen. Pretty tough job, isn't it? It's not for everybody. So you haven't gone out fishing yet, and you're, you're trying to do it. So what makes you want to go fishing? Uh, should try it out. You gonna try it out? Yeah. Are you gonna go with your dad yeah. and your uncle? Well, that's kind of reassuring that you have two guys that know what they're doing, that, that have your best interest in mind, right? Are you a worried? Uh, no, no, not really. Not really? Because uh, these guys always fish out in the winter, right? Yeah. So, pretty crazy time to be out there, huh? Yeah, I don't want to go in the winter for my first time. You don't want to go, huh? So, Elvin, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what, what would you tell him? If he wants to go fishing, what, what, what are you going to tell him? Try it out. It's a tough one though, huh? It's cold though, man. Really cold. Oh, yeah. I'm bad weather too. Are you worried that he wants to be a fisherman? Not really. No? There's still some good money to be made, no? Well, hey, good luck to you, Brandon. Looks like the net for today is, uh, this is what they're going to do. At least that's what the mate tells me. So tomorrow more work or that's it? Tomorrow we're going to finish. And All the chains now that support the bag and the sleeve, it's going to be done tomorrow. Alright, so you know what that means? That means I'm done photographing for today. So keep in mind, you got to get close, you got to get personal, but you have to really be aware of what's going on, especially in a work environment. When you have cutting torches and you got, uh, you know, molten metal flying around and you got very heavy equipment, if you're too close, you know, there's always the potential of getting hurt. 
Make sure you establish your space, but make sure they understand that you're there. You don't have to communicate verbally for people to understand that you're just doing your job, but you want to get close up and you want to get personal. Later.